I gotta go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta go home. I gotta get I gotta get home. I am stuck out here in Illinois because my truck is broke down, but I'm here with you guys though. About to knock out another podcast for you. Today's topic, man, is the ongoing continuation of the situation that lies behind uh Ahmad Aubrey's uh death killing murder what you want to call it a lot of stuff is coming out since that video that was that was released just imagine if that video was never released i i don't believe that we would hear much from anything you know what i'm saying the situation happened back in february man it happened back in February. Just think about, just think about what a what mights, what ifs, and stuff like that. A lot of stuff has has came out uh, about this young man's death. So, majority of the information that I that I have received, you know, articles, videos, and stuff like that. Um. We, everybody has seen the video. I, I don't need to replay it. I, I don't need to show you guys the video. Y'all, y'all seen it. Uh, Avery was jogging. He came up to the truck. He went, it was like he was going around the truck. He got into a scuffle with, with, uh, one of the gentlemen, uh, the gentleman that had the shotgun. He was trying to rest, wrestle it away. He got shot twice and he died at the scene. Uh, Come to find out, we got nine one one information from from the incident that happened. Uh, we also got uh, some more information. Uh, we know that they was arrested last Thursday. This is May. This is two months from when the incident had happened. Two months. These guys has been free for two months. That's that's preposterous, right? Right? Two months that these guys were free. And I, myself, can't understand how it was possible that these two guys right here was free for two months after killing somebody. Now, regardless of the fact that they was black, I mean, if he was black or white, they go, this is going to be a racial incident period. Uh, a lot of people had talked, you know, had gave their opinions. Of course, me, I, I'm a truck driver. What do I know? You know what I'm saying? I, I just form an opinion on the information that is given to me. You know what I'm saying? But these two guys, though, man, they, a father and son team, they called in and um, and said that, said something to the fact that uh, Avery was, Breaking into somebody, breaking into a house, you know, breaking into a house. And he, you know, was running away from, from the house that they said that he was broken, that, that was broken into. Let's, uh, let's listen in 
to let's listen into the uh nine one one call. There's a guy in the house right now. Is that house under construction? Okay, do you do you have your address or the other the other house's address? Uh right at uh two nineteen or two twenty to fill a drive. And you said someone's breaking into it right now? No, it's it's all open, it's under construction. And he's running right now. There he goes right now. Okay, what is he doing? He's running down the street. Okay, that's fine. I'll get them out there. I just need to know what he was doing wrong. Was he just on the premises and not supposed to be? And he's been caught on the camera a bunch before at night. It's kind of an ongoing thing out here. The man that's building the house has got heart issues. I think he's not going to finish it. So. Okay, that's fine. And you said it was a male in a black T-shirt? A white T-shirt. Black guy, white T-shirt. And he's, he's done back run. He's done run back into the neighborhood. 911 was the address of emergency. This is uh, caller two. I'm not here. It's Tell us yours. It's a black male running down the street. So tell where 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 at so tell us yours. I don't know what street we're on. It, stop right there. Is it? Stop. Tell it. Sir. Hello, sir. Sir, where are you at? Hello. Hello. Okay, so they, so they called the police. This, this is what I don't understand. This, this what I don't understand, and this is, <laughs> and this is so funny that everybody wants to. Uh, I don't know. They, they call themselves getting into the car, and, and, the. the on the flip side, before if if you guys haven't seen the video, because the video contradicts a lot of what has said out here. Uh some say that black man was being chased down by rights uh white supremacists. That's in the video, that proves to be wrong. Um it says uh some say that you know he was chased. He was being chased by, uh, you know, two white guys and all like that. That proves to be wrong, too. In the video, it shows him jogging or running or minding his business. And the truck was already parked with the two dudes inside. Or at least one of the dudes got out of the truck to try and stop him. So... There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of misconception, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of misinformation, you know, that's, that's being formulated, that's being put together by a number of sources. You know, that's why, that's why you always gotta, you, you always gotta read between the lines. You gotta read the fine print. You gotta formulate everything because there's always different stories. You know, there's their story, the dead man story, and then there's the story down the middle. Now, of course, the dead man can't talk because dead man don't, <laughs> dead man can't talk. So every story is unfortunately we, we can't hear. We don't know what happened that led it up to that incident. Because of course, Avery is 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 dead. You know what I'm saying? He can't talk. He can't tell his story. You know, we can only go and and his story, to be honest with you, his story, you know, right now that's being told after the fact still wouldn't, we still wouldn't have known nothing about it if it hadn't have been for the video coming out. Just think the video, if the video haven't came out, we still wouldn't know anything about this tragedy. Think about it. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he the uh the gentleman the the son, father and son they got uh arraigned in court uh this week um uh, a lot of things is happening and as a matter of fact uh i believe today 
is the young man's birthday. Happy birthday, man. You know, it's just unfortunate that you're not here to to celebrate with your family. You know, happy birthday to uh, Ahmad Avery. He would have been 26 years old today. He would have been 26. You know, and all this, like I said before, all this information is coming out now. The incident happened back in February, two months ago. And these two gentlemen just now getting uh, arrested. Now, again, like I said, I'm not going to show the video because the video is kind of is kind of hurtful. It is shocking. You know, it's being and besides, if you want to see the video anyway, you just Google it. You'll be able to find it. This truck driver right here will not play it. Just go back to my last podcast. I, I played it in that for a quick second when I talked about it before. Um, but again, you know, the, the media is the media could sens- uh, sensationalize anything if you let it. You know, they can make they can make a simple, simple situation into an explosive news story you know what i'm saying back then when it was small and it was nothing heard on but now it's it's sensationalized the timeline of of this whole situation has been blotched since day one back in february on february 23rd ahmad Avery is shot dead in the streets of brunswick georgia gregory gregory and Travis McMichaels has gone out in their cars with guns to chase him down because they mistake him for a burglar. Why not just call the cops? Why do you got to go out there and play vigilante? What, you know, what would have been the outcome of that if it would have been different? Y'all would have held him down. Y'all would have beat him up, but instead y'all choose to get guns and take, you know, and quote unquote chase him down, which that wasn't perceived to be true in the video because in the video it shows him running towards them, not running away from them. But again, we don't know what happened prior to the situation. All right. Just saying. Just saying. They got up. They caught up to him. They got out of the car. They they got a, got into a struggle. A couple of shots rang out. Avery's Avery's on the ground dead. You know what I'm saying? Late February, the first prosecutor, she recruits herself, uh, recuses. Re, you got to excuse me. She recuses herself. Jackie Johnson recused herself because Met Michaels used to work in her office. That's the order, Met Michaels. He, to my understanding now, he was he's an ex cop, and he used to work in uh work in the prosecutor's office as a uh you know as an investigator. She stepped down because Gregory used to be used to work in there office as an investigator mid-april now this is two months ago and this is the timeline of what's going on all that that leads up to the arrest of the father and son team second prosecutor george barnhill says amai instigated the fight i mean what how can you instigate a fight if somebody how can you instigate a fight if somebody jumps out the car with a shotgun ch- uh, coming after you? What you going to do? You going to stand there? You going to stand there? George Burnhill was given the case. He at first said that he did not think 
it married charges because Matt Michaels was acting lawfully by trying to carry out a citizen's arrest, which is legal in Georgia. Okay, citizen's arrest, you know. Who does that, though? <laughs> who, who does citizen's arrest anymore? Really? Who, who, who do citizen's arrest? Have you ever seen a black person go out to try to do a citizen's arrest on a white guy? Or, any, or, or anybody else for that matter? I haven't. Citizens arrest because it's legal. He instigated the fight. That dude jumped out of a truck with a 12 gauge shotgun coming towards me or some bullshit that may or may not have happened. We only going by their story. Again, the black man can't talk because he's dead. He also said that the video shows Avery reaching for Travis's gun. I mean, if somebody come towards me, the first thing I'm going to do is if I'm going to stay and fight, the gun is what I'm going to try and go for. First shot is fired. However, when the pair are out of the frame, again, it, the video didn't capture anything. And you just heard the shot. He, excuse me. Barnhill said that Travis was standing his ground by firing three shots, which hit, uh, which hit Aubrey. He later had to recuse himself after it emerged that his son works in the Brunswick district attorney's office where Gregory has served. Go figure. Go figure. May 5th, Third prosecutor passed on, passed on, passed it on to the grand jury. Mm, mm, mm. Tom Dorden is the third prosecutor to have the case come across his desk. He said that his office would approach it without prior prejudice. This week, he had announced that he would not make a decision on whether or not to charge and that he wants to convey a grand jury a grand jury to take it on. Hmm. He done, the, the third the third prosecutor said that he did not want to um he he ain't want to have no prejudice on it because the other two had you know what I'm saying? They had something to do with the uh they had something to do. It, when you when you look back and think about it these two prosecutors tried to protect these guys. May 7th, Georgia, Georgia Bureau of Investigated uh, of Investigation and filed charges. The GBI announced that it will bring charges of murder and aggravated assault against Gregory and Travis on May 7th. That's the timeline for you guys. That's 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 that is the timeline for this for 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 justice for this young man. That should have been taken care of maybe two months before. Here's a video that was sent to me. Um, here's a video that was sent to me. Um, this uh, young man was talking about. Uh, this young man was talking about how the media sensationalized this situation. Um, how uh, Ahmaud Avery was gunned down in cold blood. Um, how he was. Um, how he was uh, chased down, and of course, like I said before, the video. Uh, did not show that was true. Here's his take. I've stated there is a video showing this man, Arbery, or at least the person that, that's who they suspected he, he was, the person on video burglarizing a home. 
And someone apparently called 911 saying that a black man in a white T-shirt was inside of a property, a, 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 a semi-constructed building, and then started running. There is reason to believe that these men, knowing these things, went after him. Now, in a video that's gone viral, which I cannot show for obvious reasons, you see a car following this guy. He's running down the street. They uh, they said he was just jogging or whatever. I'll read through the, the, the full breakdown of the story. But you actually see Arbery run up to the truck right. with the white men, right. the two white men, right. and then turn hard left. And then you see the two men fighting over a shotgun mm -hmm. in the DA's statement uh, made as they re as he recused himself because the potential conflicts of interest, which we'll get to as well. He's, he breaks down their findings on how this went down. And according to the video I have seen and according to the statement released, which I believe to be consistent, and you can watch the video for yourself, it appears that in the struggle over the shotgun, Arbery was shot and killed. This was not an instance of a man taking aim as he ran or fled and shooting him down. It was a fight over a shotgun. Arbery was punching the man with the weapon and it apparently grabbed at the barrel. And because of this and because of the struggle, ended up getting shot and killed. OK, so I, 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 I agree um, because, you know, like I said, in the video that I watch was the same thing. I mean, they was fighting. It, they was fighting. So it wasn't like that. A Aubrey was killed in cold blood. Okay. Don't get mad at me, y'all. Don't get mad at me. I'm just I'm just stating what I have seen in the video myself personally. Now, as I said before, I mean, there there was a fight, there was a struggle. There there was a struggle. You know, we don't know the initial happening after. They went off screen. Only thing we heard was was the shot, and then it came. Those two came back on screen. They was fighting again, and then another shot rang out, and Avery fell in front of the truck. I mean, Aubrey fell in front of the truck. All right. I'm not going to pretend that you know. There's a bunch of arguments to be made. Okay, you can argue them. Should these men have gone off and chased Arbery? That's not an argument I will make. Should Arbery have turned around and run away the other direction? Not an argument I'm interested in. I'll make my arguments at the end of this. But what I want to do is break down the media, the framing, and what we can try and piece together to the best of our abilities. The Daily Mail says, and I'm not going to use this as a source. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like I said, there's a lot of sources. <laughs> There's a lot of sources. You got a lot of news outlets that is now covering this now sensationalized uh, case of two men uh, gunning down an unarmed, an unarmed black man. And for what? Like I said before, I, I said before it was it was him being at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's that's what I said. But I'm not going to look. Look, I, I'm not going to keep going on and on and on and on and on and on about the situation. I, I'm just going to sit back and and watch it just like you guys and see how this is going to play out in the courts. Let's see what the what the what the uh, defense attorney going to put together versus what the prosecution has. Now, you can't deny the video, but then again. A lot of ill shit was done on video and a lot of people got uh got acquitted. You know what I'm saying? We we don't need to go back. We don't need to go back and see the the four white officers that beat it up Rodney King get acquitted after the video blatantly shows them, you know, beating the man up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Did we we seen plenty of videos that that the defense can chop down frame by frame, session by session, and and prove that his clients was in the right of what they was doing in the video. Videos supposed to never lie, right? I mean, I what I seen in the video is 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 blatant assault murder. Of a man, of an unarmed man, for no for no reason. I don't know. 
I don't know. But um, that's that's my thoughts on there. You know, tomorrow's Mother's Day is is hurtful for this particular family right now. You know, today's this young man's birthday. So happy birthday to this young man. Uh, tomorrow is Mother's Day and she's, you know, she's not, he's not here to celebrate his mother. His mother's not able to celebrate with him, not even able to celebrate his day to day. So it's, it's sad all across the board. Sad across the board, man. So, all right, guys. I, I don't have nothing else to say about it. I, I'm I'm just gonna watch it play out in the in the courts, and um, and and see what's gonna happen, man. Um, rest in peace to this young man. My condolences goes out to the family. Um, happy birthday. Um, then that that's it. That's it. 